Hello lettering friends, welcome back. This is Shelly of Letters by Shells and today I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process on how to create a stamp on Procreate. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make a stamp on Procreate 4 and then show you on Procreate 5. Because the interface has changed, there are some things that I wanted to address and share. So let's get started. For the first example, I'm going to show you how to make a stamp on Procreate 4, so without any of the updates and changes being made. So I'm going to already have my Procreate app open along with my Apple Pencil, and just go ahead and tap on that upper right hand corner which is that plus symbol. I want to create a custom canvas in order to make my stamp. So just keep in mind when you're making a stamp, it's so, so important that your custom like canvas size is going to be the exact same like width and height. And it just um, prevents the artwork piece that you're designing from being like stretched out or losing its shape in any way. Because if I were to create a stamp using a different width and height, what could potentially happen to the artwork piece is that once the stamp is created, it gets a little bit like stretched out or loses its shape and it's just, it's not exactly how I created and designed it. So I wanted to just make sure that everything's like stays the same. So for this example, I'm just going to keep it at 3000 by 3000 and just tap on create afterwards. So once your canvas has now opened up, let's go ahead and open up the brush library and just tap on your favorite lettering brush. If you also want to learn how to make a lettering brush on Procreate, uh, make sure to check out my other tutorial and I will link it in the caption below. So I'm just going to create this artwork piece. I'm just going to actually make it simple and just write yay. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that it's so important that your stamp um, that you're creating is always going to be in the color black and your background is going to be in the color white. It just makes it so much easier when you're saving the artwork piece and importing it into the brush settings. So after you are feeling good about your artwork piece, go ahead, tap on that wrench symbol for me. It's going to open up your actions. Just make sure that it's on the share. Uh, folder and you can either save it as a JPEG or a PNG and just uh, save it directly to your camera roll. So then it's just say export successful. So afterwards I'm going to go ahead tap on my brush library and just make sure that you're mindful of where you are creating that stamp so you know what folder you're on. You can always create a brand new folder as well but I'm just going to keep it in the folder that I already have made and just tap on the upper right hand corner which is that plus symbol to make this stamp. This is now where all the magic happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename that brush and just rename it to Yay. And just keep in mind that on Procreate 4, uh, when you're making a brush or a stamp, it's only you're only using like half the screen, but on Procreate 5, you're now using the entire screen. So that's pretty much how like the interface has changed when making a stamp and a brush. So once you, I rename it, I'm going to go ahead and go to my shape source and tap on insert photo. I'm going to upload and bring in the artwork that I just created. And then afterwards, go down to my grain source and tap on swap from Pro library. This will give you access to the entire Pro library folder. And I'm just going to scroll all the way down until I find the solid white background. So afterwards, I'm going to go back and just at the very bottom, tap on the source folder again. I just want to make sure everything is good to go. So for the shape source, I had my imported artwork piece in. Grain source is a solid white background. The last step I need to do on the screen is to tap on invert shape. I want to make sure of my artwork piece the background is black and my lettering and artwork is in white. Afterwards, I'm going to head over to the general tab and turn my stamp preview on and you'll notice that your artwork piece will appear um, at the top right there. If you want to zoom in on it, just increase your preview. But I'm going to actually decrease my preview back down because I'm going to scroll down and go to my size limits. I want to increase it to the, the max because I want to make sure that my stamp is the best quality that it can be. And I don't have to keep resizing it myself. So that way the quality is really clear and sharp. And then now I'm going to go back, scroll down and go to my preview and just decrease it a, a little bit more. So that way it fits nicely in the top box right there. So afterwards, like making a stamp is pretty straightforward and simple. I'm just going to make sure I go back to my stroke tab. So I'm just going to skip all the other folders. I'm going to just ignore it because the main changes that I needed to make was on that general tab. And I think we're all set. So making a stamp again, it's not very hard. It's just 
What can be tricky about it is making sure that your canvas size is the exact same like height and width and things like that that I had to really figure out the hard way. But I'm gonna go ahead and now test out this stamp. So just uh, opening up my color wheel, I'm just gonna choose a brand new color and just tap on the screen and see how it turns out. Yay, okay, so it's looking okay. And if you ever wanted to make your stamp bigger, you can always resize it yourself by clicking on the arrow button. And the quality should stay the same because we increase the max. Or you can always increase the stamp by heading over to the left-hand side and increasing the brush size. So this is how you make a stamp on Procreate 4. It's a really straightforward process and Procreate 5 should be also straightforward. It's just that there's some little things that really confuse me too, so let's get into that. So I now have the Procreate app open, but this is Procreate 5. Using my Apple Pencil again, I'm going to open up a brand new canvas. So on Procreate 5, the interface looks slightly different. So when I click on that plus symbol, you'll notice that the box won't look the same as Procreate 4. So I'm going to click on like the double folders to make that new canvas. So this is like where it's entirely changed in terms of the, the interface. It's now like the entire screen and things like that. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on the last example. Just keep it at pixels and do 3000 by 3000 and just um, go ahead, rename the canvas if you'd like by tapping on Untitled Canvas. And after you're done, just click on Create. So now that the canvas has opened up, uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna do something different. Instead of writing yay, I'm gonna write love you for this example. I'm just gonna make sure I have my lettering brush chosen. So just have some fun with your design and just, you know, play around with it. After you are enjoying it, let's go ahead and save it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that wrench symbol again. So these like, um, these things have not changed in any way. So clicking on the wrench symbol, it's going to open up my actions and I'm going to make sure I'm on my share folder and either save it as a JPEG or PNG and save it directly to your photo library. So now that it's been saved, let's go ahead and open up the brush library again. And just make sure that you know what folder you wanna save your brush on. I'm gonna go ahead and now click on the upper right hand corner of that plus symbol to create that new brush. So comparison to Procreate 4, Procreate 5, as I mentioned, it's like the entire screen now. So it's now called Brush Studio. For the first step, I'm gonna go ahead and just tap on the shape folder and import the artwork. So go ahead and click on shape and then edit and then import, and then go ahead and click on import a photo, and then open up your photo library and just choose the artwork that you were working on. Challenge behind this now is that there's no invert button that we did on Procreate 4. So now the goal is to make the background black and my lettering into the color white. So I now have to kind of like figure this out. So what I figured out was this. You just get two fingers and you tap the screen and it basically will invert the image for you. So it's super simple. And then click done. And then now go to your grain. It should already be defaulted to that white solid background, but just to make sure that it's there. Afterwards, I'm going to head over to the Properties folder and turn on my Stamp Preview under Brush Properties. And then under Brush Behavior, I'm just gonna increase it to the maximum size. So I know now it looks so crazy on the right-hand side, but if you want, um, just get your Apple Pencil and just tap on that screen and you should now see your artwork. If you wanted to make it a little bit bigger, you can also increase your preview and then tap the screen again, just to kind of test it out and see what it looks like. The really cool thing about Procreate 5 is that if you go to the About This Brush folder, you can basically give yourself credit. You can import a photo of yourself, sign it, and just store all the details. I feel like it's really nice as a brush creator that Procreate made these changes. So I'm just gonna import my photo and sign it really fast and click on Done. So one thing I want to note is that once I tapped out of it, you'll see that my preview for my stamp, you can't really see it. It's like super big. I don't know if this bothers you, but it, for me, it makes it confusing because I don't know what stamp I'm using anymore. So if you just want to make that quick fix just tap on the stamp again and just go back to your properties and just decrease your preview to about 16% or 15% and if you also wanted to uh, rename your brush just go back to the about this brush and just tap on the entitled brush up there and just uh, rename it to whichever you like and then click done and done and now you should see the preview it looks a lot more nicer and cleaner because you can see it now on the screen so now it shouldn't be so confusing what stamp you're using so now the, for the fun part, let's go ahead, open up a new canvas and just test out this stamp that we just made. So I'm just gonna choose another color, just test it out. 
and yay i'm loving it so far it's exactly how i made it and designed it so that all has to do with the dimensions that i chose in the beginning basically when i created this artwork i made sure that my dimensions were the same from width and height so after you're okay with it then yeah you're all set so this is basically the steps on how to make a procreate stamp on both Procreate 4 and Procreate 5. So the steps are exactly the same, it's just that the interface now looks so different. So I hope that helps in terms of just helping you navigate through the new Procreate changes and also helping you create that stamp. I would love to know your thoughts and if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. And please do check out my book if you are interested in learning more step-by-steps and building projects on the Procreate app, along with my lettering practice sheets if you wanted to learn my style of lettering and just practice and explore the beauty of lettering. Thank you so much again for your love and support and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!